The Web 3.0 space is a brand new frontier of limitless possibilities, and demand for tech talent in this space is absolutely insane. Blockchain is one of the highest paying fields in tech, and one of the best ways to break into this industry and capitalize on this movement is to show people that you have the skills with a winning portfolio. And in this video, I'm going to give you some top portfolio app ideas that people will actually use. So before we get into that, you know if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. I've helped thousands and thousands of people become real world blockchain developers, and I want to help you too. So make sure you smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to this channel. And if you want to know how to master blockchain step by step from start to finish, then head on over to adaptiversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so let's jump into this. Let's talk about some of the top portfolio ideas that you can create that people will actually use. And so let's talk about portfolio, why it's important in the first place, because, you know, if you're trying to break in this industry, even if you're a programmer already, or let's say you're not one, you need to prove people that you understand the Web 3.0 space and that you actually have the chops to provide value. And the portfolio is the best way to do that, because it's like, how do you get a job without specific experience? Well, you get experience outside the workplace. So you create a new project in an unguided way on your own. And then you put that into a website and show people you, know, you put it out there on the web. And so that can accomplish your end goal of you know getting hired or becoming a freelancer. But one really cool thing to do is go for a goal that accomplishes two purposes. What if you could create an app that people would actually use? Yeah, that's going to be you know much more likely that you would get hired because it demonstrates a strong understanding of the space, but then also has this other potential of like, hey, what if it becomes a real project and you can actually you know become successful that way? So I'm going to talk about those ideas. Now, that being said, some of these ideas, because they're real world projects, not all of them are going to be like just super dead simple. So some of these will actually be challenging to build, but as a bonus, I'll give you some uh, free ideas at the end of the video that'll be a little bit easier. So that being said, let's jump in and get started. All right, so the first portfolio idea that people would actually actually use is a decentralized exchange aggregator. Okay, so why have I chosen this? Well, you know, swapping cryptocurrencies is definitely one of the most popular use cases of blockchain technology, basically just spe speculating on tokens. And a lot of that trading activity has moved directly on chain. Okay, so if you understand how, you know, ERC20 tokens work, you understand how cryptocurrency exchanges work, that's a huge thing that you know, shows people that you know what you're doing, but also has a real world use case that people want to use because they always want to swap tokens and they always want to find the best price. Now, let me talk about why this is a, additionally a beneficial portfolio idea is it's a challenging thing to build, but it's not too hard. OK, so basically, you know, building an entire cryptocurrency exchange from scratch with an automated market maker like Uniswap uh, is pretty challenging. OK, there's a lot of complexity there. Um, and you know, you don't want to just fork Uniswap and say you did that because you know that that's also hard to do, but it doesn't show as much that you can build something from scratch. But if you can create a decentralized exchange aggregator, that can actually, you know, interface with existing decentralized cryptocurrency exchanges to get the quotes, find the best prices, and then create a smart contract that, you know, facilitates that transfer and provides that value to the end user. And so that, you know, cryptocurrency exchange can also make money by charging fees. And so that's the potential path to profit for an application like this. Okay. So now let's talk about the actual implementation. Um, so what do you need to do? Well, you need to create smart contracts, of course, with Solidity programming language. They can be deployed to a variety of different EVM compatible blockchains. And you want to find the decentralized exchanges that all uh, people use and then try to get the quotes on the best uh exchanges inside your smart contract. Now, there's some benefits here because, you know, if you go look at you know, any of these, uh, you know, EVM compatible ecosystems, there's so many places that have forked the same apps over and over again, like Uniswap version two, for example, probably one of the most forked applications out there. And so what you have to do is understand the interfaces for those applications and then plug it in to get those quotes and then make those swaps spread across the different exchanges. But that gets easier as, you know, the applications become more similar it can be kind of a re rinse and repeat process, especially if you want to do that for a multi-chain context. So, you know, one app to reference the implementation of this is definitely a one inch exchange. Okay, you can look at the code and how they do it. You don't want to just copy that for your own project, but you can get some inspiration on how to do that as well. All right, so another Web 3.0 portfolio idea that's kind of similar to the last one, but different is a DeFi dashboard. Okay, so one, you know, popular example, of this is like Zapper. Okay, so basically what you can do is you can connect your wallet and then you can use a bunch of different DeFi applications or uh, NFT applications all from one place. Okay, so this could be a combination of you just aggregating lots of different user interactions on uh, with a website. Maybe you're, you don't even need to, need to create smart contracts in this case, or maybe if you have some special functionalities that combine different DeFi strategies then you could create the smart contracts to do that. So I'll just show you an example. 
So you can see the dashboard here. Uh, basically, you can connect your wallet. You can exchange, you know, swap more than 2,000 tokens here. You can bridge to different crypto ecosystems. You can bridge from Ethereum, uh, you know, Arbitrum, Avalanche, Binance Smart Chain, any of these EVM compatible chains to any other. Okay. And so basically, like I was saying before, you could just create a website that hooks into all these, or you could create the smart contracts that help, you know, create new strategies that you can't do with the existing applications out of the box. And that's one of the beautiful things about Web 3.0 is it's permissionless. You know, you've got the smart contracts on the blockchain. As long as you can hook into those as a programmer in some way, you can create a website that uses those without an API key. You can create smart contracts that come up with new, you know, recipes and things that you couldn't do another way uh, without anybody having to grant you access. All right, so next portfolio idea that somebody would actually use is some sort of Web 3.0 data site. All right, so I'm gonna give you lots of different examples of this. And it's gonna be slightly different from some of the previous examples because this is not exactly the type of thing where you always have to code smart contracts uh, or use a wallet in order to consume the application. But it does show a pretty strong understanding of Web 3.0 and actually how to work with blockchains themselves. So basically, I'll show you some examples. We've got like DeFiLlama.com. Uh, you can see the TVL across all these different ecosystems and applications, different EVM compatible chains, uh, different dApps like Curve Finance, Lido, Anchor, MakerDAO, et cetera, et cetera, Uniswap. Okay, uh, we've got like DeFi Pulse is a very similar type of thing speci specifically for DeFi apps uh, in the Ethereum ecosystem. Uh, things like uh, Ultrasound Money where you can watch how much ETH has been burned, you know, watch the burn l2beat.com, where you can see what's going on in the, the layer two space. The whole point is, what all these apps do, they provide, you know, data and statistics and usage uh, insights, that's really hard for the end user to get some other way. So how do you create one of these? So think about any insight that's hard to just get on Etherscan, for example, by itself, and then try to wait, find a way to show that to the end user. So how do you do that? Well, there's a couple different ways. You could basically talk to a blockchain node, and this is a way, you know, where you can really show people that you know what you're doing is actually, you know, consume the transactions that are coming in from the blockchain or make queries to a blockchain node to find out certain usage statistics on, on applications or, you know, whatever it is. Then consume that data yourself, maybe in some sort of database, and then generate the insights. So one really common metric that we're seeing here is like TVL. You can see total value locked, okay, across different uh, ecosystems. You see that here, you see it here, you see it here. Well, TVL is just saying how much cryptocurrency has gone in these applications and what's it worth, you know, right now. So you can generate that insight by, you know, hooking up to a node and then, you know, checking that out. So there's there's ways you can do this with like, you know, consuming a, a data from, directly from a blockchain node and then, you know, putting it into a database to build that. You could use other services like, uh, you know, the graph that helps make some of these projects easier, or you can do a combination of any of these things. But you don't necessarily need to create smart contracts uh, to make this particular portfolio piece. All right, so another Web 3.0 portfolio idea is to create an NFT project or an NFT collection, NFT drop, minting website, all that type of stuff. So, you know, NFTs are a popular use case. And this is honestly probably the easiest thing to create for your portfolio because it's pretty much a solved problem. Like, you know, most NFT smart contracts are kind of just clones of one another with some slight changes. It's a super easy project for a beginner. So you can customize an NFT uh, that way. You, of course, you need to create the artwork for the NFT and put that on IPFS and then link up the artwork with your smart contracts and then ultimately create some sort of minting website uh, that, you know, uh, let's see, it advertises when your project is going to happen. And then basically people show up to the website with their... Uh, you know, wallets and then their ether or whatever chain they're on the cryptocurrency. And then they click that mint button and then they, you know, they, they generate your NFT from scratch and then pay your smart contract. And you can get paid, you know, to do that whenever they generate their artworks from scratch, then they go flip them and sell them on OpenSea or they, or they hold them, whatever. So what do you need to do this? Of course, you need the artwork, smart contracts and the website. And so how you get really creative with this opportunity is uh, basically the artwork itself and then also the website. So you could collaborate with an artist if you're not an artist yourself. Uh, if you're just doing this for a portfolio and you're not you know, trying to uh, you know, create an NFT collection that absolutely blows up that's going to get super you know, popular, you could use found artworks, you could use memes, something that's like you know, in public domain, uh, you know, pictures of famous artworks or something, just to prove that you understand how the NFT collections work themselves, okay? Um, if you're just trying to do it to create a portfolio. 
And then, you know, you can create, you can do this to where people would actually use it. You can put it on a low cost chain like Polygon where people can mint them for, you know, basically nothing. Uh, or you could do it on an Ethereum test network where people only have to, you know, mint with fake ether that's not worth anything in the real world if you're just trying to show that you can do this with, uh, for, you know, a potential employer. All right. So those are some web 3.0 portfolio ideas that people will actually use. Okay. Now, some of these are easier. Some of these are a little more challenging. So I want to give you a couple of ideas for apps that are going to be a lot easier to create. All right. But don't necessarily fall into the like people will actually use them because they require, you know, more than just like launching the website and then people showing up to use it. So one of those is a crypto social network. So if you can create a blockchain based uh, web 3.0 app, where you can have people, you know, interact with one another online that have unique uh, characteristics of web 3.0, that's a great portfolio piece. And you can do this like where it kind of approximates the experience. It doesn't have to be like a winning social network, especially if you're just trying to do it for your portfolio. Again, this doesn't have to be a p- an app people actually use. It's just another portfolio idea. Another one would be like an NFT marketplace. So like OpenSea, you could create an OpenSea clone with smart contracts with the website. Again, you need a lot of NFTs and a lot of users to make something like that be competitive so that I don't file that under like the people who are actually going to use it category unless you're a great uh, business person, which you might be. And another quick idea for a web 3.0 app, again, not under the category people are going to use, but a great portfolio idea is a decentralized autonomous organization or a DAO. If you can code out a DAO and then launch a token with it um, and show people that you understand how that works and how you can do decentralized governance, that's really going to show people that you understand how Web 3.0 works, how tokens work, and ultimately where the DAO space is headed. All right, so that's all I got for today. If there's any ideas that you have that you think I missed or that people should hear about, then definitely drop those down in the comment section below. As always, you know, smash that like button uh, below this video. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. That really helps these videos out so that more people learn about blockchain. And if you're as fast at this technology as I am um, and you want to start building out these portfolio ideas, how can you get started today? You can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find my free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those and you want to take the next step or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, I can try to become a blockchain master step-by-step start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You don't have to be an expert to get started today. I thought people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.